You know, the greatest of all American pastimes, even beyond baseball and even beyond NASCAR, is the road trip. Me, above all others, I love the road trip. I love finding new places to go, new things to see, and it really is the best way to see this country. Now, for many years, I just took road trips for the hell of it. I just went wherever I felt like it and found out where I ended up. But now that I've got this little show here, I have a destination. We're heading down to Texas for the Terlingua Rally. Now, it's only appropriate that if you're going to a Shelby event, you show up in the proper vehicle. I mean, if I drove all the way across the country in my Corvette, showed up there, I'd probably get slapped in the face, kicked in the nuts, and sent on my way. So my buddies at Ford set me up with a 2008 Mustang GT panoramic glass roof. A GT stands for Grand Touring. It's not a sports car, it's a touring car. Now, I'm going to show you in this episode exactly why this car fits the bill as the perfect entry-level Grand Touring vehicle. Let's hit the road. in the dirt. I love sliding it around. The live axle, yeah, it might be a little antiquated technology, but when it comes to putting the car sideways, it's the only way to fly, man. The Mustang GT is a fantastic entry-level Grand Touring car. The Grand Touring car class starts with, right here, with this entry-level $25,000 Mustang GT and goes all the way up to the $200,000 Bentley GT Speed, Aston Martins, what have you. The most important feature of those cars, they're fast, they're comfortable, they're stylish, and they're, you know, nice to drive for long periods of time. So if you wanted an entry-level sports car, this, this might be the one to have, you know? There's a few things about a road trip car that make it a good road trip car, right? Obviously, the first one has to be comfort, because if you're sitting in that seat for 7, 8, 9, 10, or in our case, 22 hours, you don't want your back hurting. For instance, I love my Mini, but after 7 or 8 hours, yeesh. Mustang GT, on the other hand, has pretty comfortable seats. They're not too heavily bolstered, but they're nice and padded. The leather is pretty good, and it's got adjustable uh, lumbar support and things like that to keep it comfortable. Secondary, you got to have the performance, right? You need a fast, fun car. It's got to be able to cruise up around 100 without much difficulty. So let's find out what the power's like. Traction off. 70. Eighty, hundred. Yeah, so the power is there. <clears throat> the Mustang does zero to sixty in five point one seconds. Tops out at about one hundred and forty-nine miles an hour, which I personally verified somewhere in Oklahoma. Third, you want styling. The car's got to look good. You got to feel good driving the car. You don't want to be driving around in some ugly piece of crap. And this, must, this may be the outgoing Mustang, the body style it started in 2005 and we're now ending the 2008 model year. It's due for a refresher in 2010, but you know, it still looks good. It's got the classic Mustang look, which probably would explain why they've sold hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of these things. The most important feature of this new Mustang, at least for our purposes here, is the panoramic glass roof, which starts right here behind the uh, dome light and goes straight back all the way to the trunk, except for a little roll bar here. It's got a sliding shade, so if you want to close it up to keep some of the heat out if you park the car, it works. Uh, but it's a new, a new kind of UV-coated glass that keeps 
the compartment a little bit cooler than a normal piece of glass would. Also, doesn't fade the leather, and it doesn't uh, get you sunburned. You know, it, it's a pretty good car. I mean, it's got a V8, so you're thinking, well, the gas mileage must suck. Not really. Let's check our info thing here. And I've averaged 19.1 miles per gallon for just over 1,500 miles so far, going between 80 and 90 miles an hour most of the way. In fact, if I open my center console here, I have the ticket to verify it. 92 and a 75. Thank you, Oklahoma. Also, if you're going on a road trip, you need to have two important things, okay? And these are totally separate from the car. I like to use my Garmin Nuvi navigation. It's fast, easy, and simple. The Mustang has an optional nav system, but this particular press car doesn't. And then the Valentine One radar detector. Easily the most important feature for anybody who wants to drive even a little bit fast, okay? And you guys know me, all right? What's great about the Mustang, which is the reason I bought my original Mustang, is that there are so many aftermarket parts out there from all different kinds of companies, from engine stuff to body kits to wheels. I didn't just say body kits. <laughs> engine stuff, body kits, wheels, paint colors, uh, you know, uh, uh, all kinds of different accent pieces, electronics. There are so many parts available for this car. You could really take one and make it your own. America is, is a huge country. Most people don't even see the smallest fraction of it. They fly back and forth from New York to LA and stop at a couple big cities on the way, but I mean, look where we are. Texas is a beautiful state. And what's most important to me about a good road trip is discovering stuff that you would never ever have a chance to see. And it's not like you have to go out of your way to find it, you just go drive somewhere. You know, lucky for us we have a destination, but we've managed to see all kinds of cool stuff along the way. Let me show you some of those clips. I lost my lighter at the hotel, so I came down here. For some reason, they won't let me climb the tower to get a light. I mean, I wasn't really paying attention, but something about like my flaming body falling 300 feet to my death. Ugh. Anybody got a lighter? I'm dying here. That is the single gnarliest bug roadkill in history. <laughs> oh, man. But look at our collection here. This bumper... I mean, look at this. I, we have a farm on this thing. <laughs> Time to stock up. <laughs> I want like a big so you fountain. Just want fountains, you yeah. don't want anything that goes I want, up. No, no, I don't need. I don't need lo things that launch. I need. I need the biggest, baddest, nastiest fireworks you've got. Follow me. I got right, it. Let's go. All right, let's go. Okay. I want one that doesn't even like fit in the car. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! Just one firework. Okay. okay. There you go. Four thousand. How much? Four thousand three hundred and thirty dollars to send this to China. Big mascara? I certainly do. Yeah, oh. thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go blow something up. <laughs>